Have you ever wondered what your twin flame finds so attractive about you? Or alternatively, you may have wondered from time to time, what is it about my twin flame that I find so attractive? And when I say attractive, I mean quite literally as if a magnetic pole is drawing you to one another at every level of your being because the twin flame attraction is more magnetic and runs deeper than any other form of attraction within any other connection. Like I said, this attraction is very magnetic and it operates at us or rather upon us on many levels of our being. Sometimes we ourselves can't even fully put into words what it is about our twin flame that makes them so irresistibly attractive to us. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what your twin flame finds the most attractive about you, even if they don't always say these things aloud, even if you are in a period of separation, wondering if they are still attracted to you in these ways, or maybe you've been wondering why you're attracted to your twin flame and you may resonate with many of these forms of twin flame attraction. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. The first thing twin flames are attracted to about one another. And I say the first thing because this is usually the first thing twin flames notice physically about one another in their first physical meeting are their eyes. I have done an entire video just on the twin flame eye connection because this connection is deeply magnetic or in other words, deeply attractive. Through the eyes, twin flames are able to quite literally peer into one another's soul. And because when they do peer into each other's souls, they see themselves reflected back like a mirror. This is deeply attractive to them. They find themselves being pulled into their twin flame's eyes as if they're being pulled into some kind of a vortex. I'm sure you've heard the saying, getting lost in their eyes, but with your twin flame, this may feel literally as if your entire being is being swept into their gaze. In fact, when you look into their eyes, the entire world around you may completely melt away. And as you hold eye contact with your twin flame, it is as if the two of you will be swept up into another dimension. And it isn't just because it feels this way. You feel as if you're being swept up into this higher dimension because you actually are. You and your twin flame exist on an energetic frequency, on a level that no one else, that no other soul exists on. And oftentimes you are able to feel that frequency the most when looking into each other's eyes, which means this is when you can feel that energetic oneness most intensely which naturally leads to very deep and irresistible feelings of attraction. The second way twin flames are attracted to one another is through their energy or their overall vibe. In fact, this will often attract you to your twin flame even before you recognize a certain thing about their appearance 
that you like. In fact, I've often heard that for twin flames, they may report, in some cases, being attracted to their twin flame's physical appearance initially. But for other twin flames, I've heard it described as if they just couldn't put their finger on it. They really couldn't understand why they were so physically attracted to their twin flame because they were having trouble pinpointing exactly what it was about their physical appearance that was so attractive. And what they were really describing through that, I just don't know what was so attractive about them, is actually their twin flame's energy, their aura. You see, our physical appearance is much more than physical features. We actually project an appearance to others on an energetic level through our aura, through the energy that we emanate outward. In the case of twin flames, this energy is designed to pull them together like magnets. So from across a distance, let's say miles and miles, and across many different barriers, whether it's the oceans between you or the emotional and social institutional obstacles that should have kept you apart. The energy of twin flames is designed in a way that it will magnetically draw you to one another so that you each traverse any obstacles between you in order to reunite. So this energetic attraction happens on a very large scale. I'm talking a life scale. It's the kind of energetic attraction that's more than how we think of attraction with being I'm romantically or physically attracted to someone. It's a very literal attraction, the kind of attraction that will pull two souls together across all time and space across all barriers that should have kept them apart. This attraction, this energetic attraction, is so irresistible that oftentimes it works through so many seeming coincidences to bring two twin flames together, which is so often why twin flames will say that it feels as if their meeting had a kind of destiny about it, that it was too coincidental to even be possible. However, because of this large-scale energetic attraction, on a small scale, it is even more intense, meaning that when you are physically in the presence of your twin flame, the reason you feel so attracted to their energy is because this is the same energetic attraction that was powerful enough to pull each of you across whatever obstacles were between you, to draw you together into this physical meeting. And if it was that powerful to overcome all those obstacles and all that distance, you could only imagine why it is so powerful and irresistible in the actual physical presence of your twin flame. If the energetic attraction between twin flames is so powerful, it can bring them together when they are in completely different countries, circumstances, class backgrounds, religions, institutions, generational barriers, then you can only imagine how strong it is when they are standing face to face with one another. The third thing that your twin flame will find attractive about you and that you will find very attractive about your twin flame is their voice and their laugh. In fact, you may find yourself saying that you just can't get enough of hearing them talk, that you could listen to them talk all day long. And you may have wondered why this was. The reason you find your twin flame's voice and laugh so attractive is because every one of our voices carries within it the resonance of our soul. It carries a frequency. Voices have frequency just like all other sounds and authenticity carries a certain frequency that we can hear in the voices of others. This is why when someone is lying to you or being inauthentic with you, 
you can often pick up on that resonance, that frequency of inauthenticity in their voice because dishonesty has a very discordant frequency. It can even sound like nails on a chalkboard to you. So this is the opposite with the twin flame frequency in the voice. It's so authentic. It resonates so deeply with your soul. In fact, it resonates perfectly with you. That it naturally causes the vibration of your being to feel very in harmony with their voice. Rather than feeling discordant like that nails on a chalkboard feeling, it feels harmonious within every cell of your being. The laugh is the same way, just like a voice carries a frequency, a laugh also carries your twin flame's frequency. Another reason that twin flames will be deeply attracted to one another's voices is because they often sound very familiar. And as humans, whenever we hear or see something familiar, it naturally causes it to look or feel good to us on some level. It's the reason that nostalgia can cause things to look much better than they are. It can alter our appearance, our perception rather, of reality. This is the same reason that you may have something in your childhood that holds a lot of nostalgia to you, a lot of familiarity. Like, for example, a restaurant or a vacation spot that you went to very often as a kid. And this place, because it's familiar to you, it looks much better to you than it would to others. So with Twin Flames, it's the same way. The familiarity in a Twin Flames voice comes from lifetimes after lifetimes that you've lived together in which, although appearances may have looked different, you may have physically looked different but that soul resonance, that soul energy was always the same. And again, this is expressed through the voice, which leads to that familiarity. In fact, I've often heard that twin flames will be even more attracted to their twin flames voice or laugh than they are to their physical appearance at first. Because again, what they are being attracted to is that energy expressed through the voice. The fourth thing that twin flames are attracted to about one another is a bit counterintuitive to outsiders. Twin flames will quite literally be attracted to one another's flaws and quirks. The things about their twin flame that make them unique that other people would perceive to be flaws or perceive to be imperfections, you will actually find yourself not just tolerating or accepting your twin flame's flaws, but actually loving them. Because in a way, you know your twin flame on such a deep soul level that you will find this humanness about them, these imperfections, these so-called flaws, to be almost endearing. Again, these flaws will have that feeling of familiarity as if I knew you would have all of these quirks and what other people perceive to be imperfections. It was essentially programmed into you unconsciously within your soul before your birth and after your birth before meeting your twin flame exactly what your twin flame would look and feel and sound like. So when you meet them and they start to show you all these flaws and things that other people see as imperfections to you, this is just you validating to yourself more and more that this is your person. Because again, it's as if your soul knew on some level that they would have all of these little quirks. You will recognize them on a very deep level and it will be very attractive to you, even the things that may not be conventionally attractive to other people. The fifth and final thing that twin flames find so attractive about one another and in fact the thing that they may find the most attractive isn't related to their twin flames physical appearance or their actions or their energy at all 
but is actually related to how they are living their life. This is a broader aspect to twin flame attraction. Twin flames are most attracted to one another when they are thriving, when they are in a state of perpetual expansion growth, when they are living in their true authenticity, expressing every part of themselves fearlessly. You may find that with previous romantic partners, there are certain parts of yourself that you just knew if you expressed that part of yourself, they would find it too weird or they would be repelled by it. Not so with twin flames. It's very much the opposite. The more of your true authentic self you reveal to your twin flame, the more they will be attracted to you. The more you step into your true purpose in life, the more magnetic you will become. The more you expand, the more your twin flame will find you attractive. This is because twin flames, when one grows and expands, the other grows and expands. So they are naturally attracted to one another's expansion because they know on a soul level that this will result in their own expansion as well. And we are all naturally as human beings, we all have a desire to expand. So for your twin flame, when they see you expanding, they will naturally be attracted to that because they know on some level that it will cause their own expansion as well. This is why I always say you can feel as if you are outgrowing karmic connections. And with soulmates, even if you don't feel as if you're entirely outgrowing them, you can become very bored of them. But with twin flames, you will never outgrow them and you will never become bored because you will constantly be expanding with one another. If you would like to dive deeper into this journey of limitless twin flame expansion, limitless deepening connection and growth that must start within, because like I always say, this is truly an internal journey and then the growth and healing we do on the inside reflects externally with the ways in which we connect with our twin flame. The problem is we are so deeply programmed by society in unnatural ways. We are naturally supposed to unite in harmonious union with our twin flame, but because we are programmed unnaturally to doubt our own worthiness of love, our own worthiness especially of that form of love we call unconditional love that twin flames teach and share with one another. Because of our own lack of self-worth, self-esteem, these internal blockages and barriers and walls we set up within our own energy being, we prevent the natural harmonious union with our twin flame. When we begin to dissolve these blockages and barriers within ourselves, we literally magnetize our energy for our twin flame, or in other words, we become extremely attractive to them. We amplify our attractiveness to our twin flame and they also become more attractive to us as well. And this shared attractiveness, this shared magnetism with all of the barriers removed between it naturally pulls us together into a harmonious union. I have created a seven chakra twin flame clearing subliminal designed exactly for this purpose to dissolve these blockages and barriers between us and our twin flame by dissolving them within ourselves, within our own subconscious mind, so that you can allow this twin flame attraction, this twin flame magnetism to be more than just attraction, to actually work its attractive power to draw you and your twin flame together magnetically. This meditation is available in a conscious spoken version as well as an unconscious subliminal version for deep mind reprogramming.
It is also available in a 20 minute session or an overnight eight hour version and comes in four different background meditation sounds, music, rain, ocean waves, and white noise. You can try it out completely free for seven days when you create an account on my members only website, Sound and Soulful. So the information for that subliminal will be linked in the pinned comment and the description box of this video. Thank you so much for joining me here on this channel. Our beautiful community is growing so fast. Love is catching like wildfire in this community. So if you would like to be part of that, please do subscribe. Join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Let me know in the comments below, what do you find most attractive about your twin flame? Was there anything I left off of this list that you just find irresistibly magnetic about your twin? I love and adore each and every one of your comments. Whenever you leave a comment, you are really participating in building this community, building our shared upliftment and support of one another. So thank you so much to each of you who leave comments. I read each and every one of them and I am doing my best to respond to as many of them as possible. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.